so I'm just going to pop up my blade. Watching, watching, ah, ah, oh, wait, 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 pop up my blade. Watching, watching, ah, ah, oh, wait, 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 pop up my blade. Watching, watching, ah, ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Well guys, once again, we are here with another one. Uh, this is also one of the ones I was supposed to do uh, in the month of November. Uh, like I said, I am really doing my best to try to play catch up, to continue to put out content, as much content as possible, and also to give you guys a different variety of different wines that you can make. Well, today I am coming to you with an apple wine. Now, I was really debating about doing an apple wine or an apple mead, but... Um, I just went ahead and decided to do an apple wine, something simple. I might do an apple mead maybe a little bit later this year, maybe going into the fall this year for 2022. But I just decided on going ahead and doing an apple wine. I chose uh, Gala apples and the Granny Smith apples because those two uh, tend to make a pretty good wine. I'm also using three pounds of each because I want as much apple concentration as possible. So that's why I'm going uh, with each of those. Uh, like I said, uh, Granny Smith has um, a lot of tartness up in it. The Gallus is kind of um, sweet. Uh, so I'm combining the two together to see if I can get a pretty good flavor from the combination of both of them. Uh, I'm actually using some lemon juice that I already squeezed for this one, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to use a little bit less uh, to see how it would change the acidity level in the wine. So either I might use... Uh, probably about half an ounce to maybe an ounce, but uh, whatever I do, I wind up letting you know, uh, maybe up in the video or possibly up in the recipe at the end of the video. So either which way, you guys will know. Um, going once again with the Earl Grey Premium Black Tea, and like I said, there's no specific reason why I'm picking this tea, it's just that I have a good bit of it left. Uh, like I said, whatever uh, black tea you guys want to use, that's your choice and we're also using it for the tannin uh we're using lauvin 71b which is a pretty good yeast um a lot of other channels use it one of my favorite channels use it cs brewing uh city steading if you don't know what the cs stands for but uh they use the 71b but i think it'll work pretty good with the fruit flavor you know of the apples that we're trying to get uh out of our apples uh for the well we're using a gallon of water to go along with the apples we might actually get a lot more juice than we realize out of cooking it down or whatever because we're going to cook it down up in this video but like i said uh i'm going to give you a process up in pictures uh if you guys prefer uh i would say pictures for the more simpler ones uh, for a breakdown as far as what you need to do because it's really simple guys the steps is almost identical uh, when you're doing uh, one fruit strawberry bananas blackberries whatever it doesn't matter it's, it's pretty simple but when it gets into like my more complex blends 
uh, where you might need an actual walkthrough or me showing you a video of me actually going through the uh, process, just let me know either which way which you prefer. Um, I'm just trying to make it easy on you guys. Like I said, my channel is just filling any void that might not be there. Like I said, uh, I like a lot of unique wines. So I know a lot of this stuff that I'm doing on my channel will be experimental. Uh, we go anywhere from cheap to expensive. So like I said, we're just here to have fun, enjoy ourselves. And in the back, we have our call boy for our equipment. Um, I can grab the graduated cylinder to put up in here for you guys this time. Make sure I don't uh, forget all my uh, equipment and tools that I'm using, you know, generally, basically, uh, every time for each video. So, uh, like I said, we got our Gallon Cowboy in the back. It has its airlock and bung, and the airlock already have the sanitized water up in it. Uh, our graduated cylinder is just holding our hydrometer for the moment until we find out how much potential alcohol we have at the end of this video guys but you know i do not like to keep talking well some of y'all know this but some of y'all say i do talk too much that's mostly my friends and my family but anyway <laughs> i'm just letting you know that uh we're going to go ahead and get to this procedure try to make it short and sweet as possible and i hope you guys get a chance to make this and enjoy it for the holidays coming this year. So let's get to this procedure. 